Shane Warne's heartbroken children Jackson and Brooke have been pictured for the first time since their beloved father last week. Jackson, 23, and Brooke, 24, appeared downcast as they were seen leaving their mother Simone Callahan's home in Brighton, Melbourne, on Wednesday. The sighting comes just days after cricket legend Warne, 52, from a natural causes on the Thai island of KOH Samui on Friday night. Heartbroken, Shane Warne's children Brooke and Jackson have been pictured for the first time since their father last Friday. After their car broke down on Wednesday, they were joined by two mechanics who came to fix the vehicle while Jackson's girlfriend Kaya Broadsmith arrived to collect the siblings. After visiting their mother, who was devastated by her ex-husband's sudden, Brooke and Jackson encountered car troubles and had to pull over. They were soon joined by two mechanics who came to fix the vehicle. Jackson's girlfriend Kaya Broadsmith, 21, then arrived to collect the siblings. The SAS Australia star, who wore a black jumper, black jeans and a white baseball cap, kept his head down while walking around his car. He was later seen making a phone call in the grassy area nearby. Heartache, SAS Australia star Jackson, 23, who wore a black jumper, black jeans and a white baseball cap, kept his head down while walking around his car. Broken down, Brooke climbed out of the vehicle while her brother paced outside. Brooke, who was pictured in the front passenger seat before the car came to a halt, looked understandably sad as she spoke with her brother on the street. She wore a grey t-shirt and grey pants for the brief outing. Kaya, who debuted her romance with Jackson in December 2021, wore a brown tracksuit and tied her hair in a ponytail as she supported her boyfriend. Call, Jackson was seen making a phone call in a grassy area nearby. Standby, the siblings waited as two mechanics came to fix the vehicle. New couple, Jackson Warren went Instagram official with his girlfriend Kaya Broadsmith in December. Kaya was on hand to support her grieving boyfriend on Wednesday. Brooke and Jackson have a younger sister, Summer, 20, who was not pictured during the outing. Shane shared his children with ex-wife Simone, to whom he was married between 1995 and 2005. The couple briefly reconciled after their divorce, but split for good in 2010. The latest sighting comes after each of Shane's children broke their silence on their fathers with touching tributes. Upset, Brooke, who was pictured in the front passenger seat before the car came to a halt, looked understandably sad as she spoke with her brother on the street. Loss, Jackson said in a statement after his father's that he doesn't think anything will fill the void left in his broken heart. Warren's eldest daughter Brooke vowed to always cherish their final memories together, laughing and joking around with each other. We were so similar in so many ways and I always used to joke that I got your genes and about how much that annoyed me, she said. Well now I couldn't be happier and prouder that I have your genes. I am lucky and will forever be so proud to call you my dad forever. I love you to infinity and back and I will miss you forever. Drive. The siblings had been driving together in Jackson's car before the vehicle broke down. Tragic, Warren's eldest daughter Brooke vowed to always cherish their final memories together. Jackson added that he doesn't think anything will fill the void left in his broken heart. Sitting at the poker table, walking around the golf course, watching the Saints and eating pizza is never going to be the same, he said. But I know all you ever wanted for me is to be happy, no matter what. You just wanted me to be happy, that's it. So that's what I'm going to do, try and be happy. I am going to miss you so much dad, and you were truly the best father and mate anyone could have asked for. Family, Warren is pictured with his three children Jackson, Summer and Brooke. Warren's youngest daughter Summer described him as the best dad anyone could ask for, as she recalled their time together. I wish I could have told you that everything was going to be okay and hold your hand. You are the best dad someone could ever ask for, she said. Our time was robbed. I want more holidays with you, more laughs where your smile lights up the whole room, more, good night I love you SJ. I'll see you in the morning, more talks about how our days were and just to feel safe when you would hug me and you would let me know how proud you are of me and how much you love me.
You haven't dad, you've just moved to a different place, and that is in our heart. Grief, Brooke Warren was devoted to her sports star dad. Tribute, I know all you ever wanted for me is to be happy, no matter what. You just wanted me to be happy, that's it, Jackson wrote. Pictured alongside Shane. Love, Shane was described as the best dad anyone could ask more by his youngest daughter Brooke. Simone Callahan added, who bring a light so great to the world that even after they have gone the light remains. Worn on Friday at the age of 52 while on holiday with his friends in KOH Samui, Thailand. He from a natural causes, an autopsy concluded. Four friends who were staying with Shane battled to save his life for 20 minutes after he was found unconscious in a villa in their KOH Samui resort. Thai police said that he was staying in the villa with four friends, and when one of the group tried to wake Shane for food at around 5 p.m. local time, he was found to be unresponsive. Exes Simone Callahan and Shane were married from 1995 to 2005. They briefly reconciled once more, but split again for the final time in 2010. Pictured in 2010, Shane's manager separately confirmed his, saying the father of three could not be revived. Warren became a global star in 1993 by bowling out Mike Gatting with the so-called ball of the century, his first ball in Ashes cricket. He went on to get 708 test wickets, tormenting teams all over the world, especially Australia's great rival England. Warren's family will hold a private funeral to say goodbye before a state service is held in front of up to 100,000 people at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Close friends and family of the late cricketer will gather in Melbourne after Warren's body is returned to Australia from Thailand. His state funeral at the Melbourne Cricket Ground is expected to be held on Wednesday, March 30. Children, Warren's kids, Brooke, Summer and Jackson, were said to be in complete shock after his sudden, 